Hey, howdy, what's up? Welcome back, checking out 156 Silence, people watching. Now, is it is it people watching as in like watching other people, or is it people watching as in people who are watching? Because this dude on the cover looks like he's watching me, and it's a little bit unsettling. I'm going to be honest though, a good 80% of why I decided to check out this album is the cover. Like, the art looks so cool. As soon as I saw that, I was like, oh, that's an album I have to hear. I know nothing about what their sound is, what genre they are. I don't know much of anything. I just know the cover looks super sick and might be one of my favorite album covers of the year. Okay, let's go. Oh, yeah. That riff is so cool. Yeah! Oh my goodness. What a strong start. Oh, this is so weird. Get that bass. This reminds me of Bones. Like the kind of rap style a little bit. I love this, dude. I really like this so far. What an interesting song structure. It was like verse, breakdown, chorus, mini breakdown. So weird. But I really, really do like this. Oh, it's got a bounce. With the air raid sirens? That goes hard. Oh, the triplets. Oh my goodness, I love this. <laughs> oh jeez, dude, the the like dark chord atmosphere is so cool. I'll just occasionally jump scare you throughout my reaction here. Speaking of which, this reminds me I need to go see Smile too. See, we're back to like the bones style. Oh my goodness, I'm getting chills. This is so good. Or like Suicide Boys or something. It's got that kind of like dark trap feel to it a bit. Oh yeah! Or a little bit of Ghost Man. Okay, 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 okay. Wow, dude, I am loving this so far. There's not a single thing I don't like about this. If this keeps up this interesting, this cool, this like creepy atmosphere throughout the whole thing, this may be one of my favorites this year. This is incredible. This reminds me of like Relica and Darko. Not in terms of sound, just in terms of like how good the vocal flow is, because both of those albums and just the, the bands in general, but the way that they make the vocals really complement the music and they, they add to the bounce that the instrumentals have is just so cool. And I love it in those albums and I love it in this one too. Like I said, it reminds me of some of those dark trap artists like Bone, Suicide Boys, Ghost Mane. Uh, people like that, where it's kind of like the the low speaking kind of rumbly rap kind of feeling. Uh, obviously, with a bit more metal influence, although some of them have metal influence, especially like Ghost Man that has had a lot of metal influence in his music. But man, this is so good. I need to hear more of this. Oh, oh, sorry. I'm, I want to talk about the the chord progression. It's using a weird sort of chromatic half-step progression where we go from like here, down to here, down to here. And it creates that creepy sort of atmosphere that the album is obviously going for. Ah, yeah. Interesting. Ooh. It's almost like emotional. <laughs> that 
that one did the same kind of like the same kind of weird half step like dark chord progression that I talked about before that one did kind of the same thing and then the chorus went into like Interesting. Big fan of this so far. I really like how different each song has been so far, too. We're going into three. Is that what this is? We are. Nice little pre chorus switch up there. Where are we going? Oh yeah. Oh, let's slow it down even more. That might be a grower. I think that was my least favorite song so far. It was good. It just had a little bit of like, uh... A little bit of that fifth focus chorus-y kind of stuff that I haven't harped on a lot recently, maybe just because I haven't heard a lot of music that has had that recently but it kind of reminded me of that when i used to talk about that a lot back in the days that one was was like okay if the other songs i think are like eight or nines out of ten that was like a seven some chonky drums nice back to that rap style oh slow it down that one was cool. Like I said, I really like how different all the songs have been so far. I think the, <clears throat> the first few tracks were really, really good. And the other tracks, like from Better Written Villain through, through Blood Loss, are not quite as good as the first two. I still like them, though. And this, they could be growers. But they have really, really good moments. I just think the first two had me like, whoa! And then this is like, okay, this is, this is just solid music. This is so weird. I love the layering of the the higher and lower voice. What a strange intro. I love it. I just think that kind of as the album goes on, I think it gets a little bit more quote unquote generic. It started off really strong and I was like, oh, this is this is kind of cool. This feels more unique. But some of this stuff, some of the some of the choruses, now I'm not saying the cleans make it generic. So you know I love good cleans, but it just feels a little bit more like other music I've heard. It doesn't stand out as much as the first couple tracks did. Doesn't mean I hate it though. I just have heard stuff like this before. It does have its moments though. It's got like little pockets of really cool stuff. Like, this is really cool. Oh, that bass. That bass and the kick drum lining up, that's so sick. I do think this is going to be a grower, because it's got a lot of really cool stuff. And it's not offensively generic. It's not something I listen to and I'm like, oh my gosh, here we go. This sounds exactly like blah, 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 blah. It's just not exactly what I what I wanted based off the first few tracks. Yeah! I don't know. There's some parts of it that just don't hit as, as well as others. I think this album is one that would have benefited from less cleans. And coming from me, I know that's weird because usually I really do enjoy cleans, but I think the cleans in this, with the exception of some sections, I think they have kind of brought down the overall atmosphere a little bit. And I, <clears throat> I wish, I wish that they would have just kept it heavy or like, I, I don't know, done something different with it. But like I said, it's not bad and it might be a grower. That's a good riff. More of this, please. See, like this, I feel would have been better if they just kept it heavy. It's always hard to get a grasp on albums fully on a first listen. 
But hey, that's what my podcasts are for. So you can hear what I think about it down the road. Oh, okay. Oh, come on. I was expecting some big old breakdown. Like, this is my favorite part about this album, is when there's this kind of vibe. The creepy, layered vocal rap kind of feel to it. This almost feels kind of corn-esque. This track is great, I love this. It's a short one, but very good. Oh! More of this, please, yes? That song is really good. Oh! More of that, do it again. Yeah! The last section of this album has been good. There's that bit in the middle where it lost me a little bit, but this, this is good. People watching through this has at least been good. See, I like the cleans here. I think this is, this works really well. It's a weird subversion of a breakdown going into like a clean vocal part. I kind of really like this. And last track, how's it gonna end? Please be a good intro, please be a good intro. Ooh. Spooky. Nice. Oh, I love this. The cleans really work for me in this. Aw, oh, this really works as an outro track. Has that big end of an album feeling to it, you know? Another half step chord progression thingy. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, slow it down for the end. Go even slower. Or soft outro. Ugh. Ooh. I overall have more positive things to say about this album than negative. I'm still kind of a little bit mixed about it, but I'm more on the positive end of mixed. And for that reason I'll, I'll just i'll just tell you i'm gonna give this goes hard that's my ranking for this as it stands right now that's kind of about where i'm feeling for it the stuff that i disliked about it isn't really anything that i think is particularly bad it's just that it wasn't nearly as unique of an album as i hoped it would be it started off really strong and then it got into a little bit more generic metalcore and just kind of sounding more like a lot of the bands do these days which i'm kind of tired of a bit but overall i think by the end the last chunk like from people watching to the end i think was really good and i think with a few more listens the whole thing might grow on me a little bit more overall i i did like it i see why people like it because people like this kind of stuff but for me it just doesn't quite hit that much but the stuff that hits really really does hit just there's a lot of stuff that i think doesn't quite hit as much as a lot of other music that's come out this year but i think it's still a pretty solid release overall thanks for watching and i'll see you all in my next one hopefully it will not be that long until my next video comes out so thanks see ya bye bye